Good morning, folks. We're going to learn stuff today. We'll hit space weather, an interesting volcano science article, and a brand new study that not only confirms the Micronova science, but gives details about known Micronova events spotted out in space. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find not a whole lot. Last night we did a video on the Earth-facing solar quiet, and it has, so far, taken a stranglehold on the major Earth-facing sunspots. We've had very little flaring or eruptive activity over the last day. Now, NOAA is suggesting that this active region harbors the potential to release X-class solar flares, and I can't argue with that. It's certainly got the size and the magnetic potential, but thus far, it has been nearly silent since emerging into view. The magnetic mixing is visible here with the blue and red regions colliding in the middle. We will certainly be watching this area today as it hits central heliographic longitudes. Up next, we're going to magma ascent through the crust. It turns out that the gases released can not only tell them how deep the magma is, but how fast it's moving up towards the surface. Now, this process was confirmed to work during measurements taken during an eruption, but it can also be applied to outgassing that occurs before the eruption. Good forecast potential there. Our top story today discusses big blasts on stars, and that includes micronova events. I can recall just a few years ago I was being called a lunatic for suggesting these existed. Not anymore, and it was so nice of them to adopt the exact name, by the way. My favorite part of the paper is a list of known outbursts of various types with the micronova events listed and including their energy release. The peak release for most is in the 10 to the 34 erg range, but most people don't know what that means. Well, when you are translating erg, it helps to use a correlation to solar flare power. 10 to the 31 is an X1 solar flare, 10 to the 32 is an X10, and so on. So when you see a paper about stellar outbursts and it says something like 3 times 10 to the 31, that's about an X3. If it says 7 times 10 to the 32, it's about an X70. The micronova listed here are all approximately peaking in the X1000 range, with a total energy release over the outburst period nearing X10 million. Folks, if you haven't done this critical piece of the homework, please do so. It is listed below our video today and shows exactly why the solar micronova is not only possible, it's happened before and is readying to happen again. We expect this outburst to be in the X1000 to X2000 range and cap off this reset of the Earth's disaster cycle in the 2040s. Again, this video is in the link list below this video and we have to highly recommend you get up to speed. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.